Do you have a kid's bike that's sitting in your garage that's not being used? Or are you in a position to volunteer because you want to see the next generation enjoying bikes just as you did as a kid? Well, you need to find out more about free bikes for kids. Welcome to What's Next, everyone. Since 2008, Free Bikes for Kids has been giving away bikes and bikes and lots of bikes. And I'm so happy that founder, director, Terry Esau, I don't know how many titles you have for this. And anyway, for Free Bikes for Kids joins me right now to Just tell us. Just call me the bike guy. The bike guy, yeah. that's it. So he joins me right now to tell yeah. us more about what's happening in 2019. And there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. First of all, thank you for having me. And the good work that you're doing. I, you know, I love this show and what you're doing. It's great for the community. So yeah, this is like our 11th or 12th year. Started in my garage in 2008. I thought I was starting a hobby, but now we've given away 70,000 bicycles. Wow. Uh, we're in 10 cities across the US, uh, soon to be launching into some international cities. Um, we uh, have just established our national organization, the board, and we have uh, the, just this morning, our board met and we have come up with a goal and you're gonna laugh at this maybe. We think that we can give away 10 million bikes by in the next 10 years. Wow, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. You know, and it all started out in your garage. You know, for a lot of people, they get to that 50 plus category and they're trying to figure out, all you wanted to do was just do something simple because you're a bike rider and you enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's, you know, a bike makes such a difference for a kid. I mean, with all the, the obesity and the diabetes and all the stuff that's going on with kids these days and adults, uh, we just need to get kids active because I, we actually talk about the bicycle as a medical device. We're saying it's the one thing that you can put a kid on and it's going to proactively make them healthy and save, save money, save money. You know, the health system's messed up. Can I say that on here? Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go right ahead. <laughs> so, uh, so we think we can help solve some of that by, you know, if we can get uh, millions of kids on bicycles and away from some, at least some screen time and stay active, we think we can make kids healthy again. Mm -hmm. So you have a couple of deadlines coming up. So let's talk about how do parents get bikes for kids and how do volunteers get involved? All right, let's, let's start at the beginning. So October 5th is their bike collection. So here in Minneapolis, St. Paul and some of the surrounding communities on October 5th, you can donate any bicycle, a tricycle, a scooter, anything with two wheels or maybe three wheels at any one of the Alina hospitals and clinics. Um, and there are about 50 some of those around the metro area. So between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. on Saturday, October 5th, donate a bike. So go out to your garage, run your finger across the frame. If there's dust on your finger, you're not using the bike, your kids aren't using the bike, donate it and we're gonna make sure that a kid who actually needs it and will ride it will, will get that bike. And then for eight weeks, we bring in thousands of volunteers and we can use virtually anybody, anybody. <laughs> so you, if, you, um, you know, if you can clean a bike, if you can change a tire, or if you can do more complicated mechanical work, we need you. So, uh, and we're gonna be open seven days a week starting October 7th. We're gonna be open seven days a week uh, all the way until the beginning of December. And by then we hope to have refurbished 7,500, 8,000 bikes. And then at the beginning of December, we give them all away within the community here. So, uh, and by the way, the way that we give the bikes away is we never choose the kids to receive the bikes. What we do is we invite schools, uh, nonprofits, uh, like maybe it's like YMCA, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, faith-based organizations, any organization that works with low-income families, we invite them to apply to become a benefiting partner. And you can do that on our website. GFB4K.org. Yeah. You know, it's just it was just chance that I put this shirt on it today. I, I don't know. I, Kismet. I, it, was, it was in the top of the pile. I said, oh, I might as well put that one on. Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, and then we, we vet those organizations that apply to become a benefiting partner of ours. Mm -hmm. We make sure they're doing good work. Are you keeping the dignity of people intact? Stuff like that. We choose about a hundred of those each year and then they choose the kids to get the bikes. So we don't, we never actually choose the children who receive the bikes. So then by the uh, middle of December, all the bikes will be gone. We'll uh, clean the warehouse and turn the keys back over to the owner and, and we kind of shut down again until the next year. Mm -hmm. I always have to laugh because you're giving away the bikes. So in Minnesota, of course, mid-December, <laughs> into December, he, you're only riding in the hallway maybe, but yeah, it's still the opportunity when the snow goes away. It's the opportunity when the snow goes away. Plus this started because I got a call about somebody they, they couldn't afford to give a Christmas present to their kid. And so that's, that's why we started it when we did. It was because we thought, hey, here's a way for parents who can't afford to buy a Christmas present for their kid to give their kid a bike. That's a pretty good present. Yeah, it is. You know, I remember getting, well, actually I don't, I remember getting my brother's bike <laughs> wrapped up and handed to me at Christmas. <laughs> And my brother had used the bike very thoroughly before I got it. Yeah, yeah, but look at it this way. You're still biking. It, I am. It has done such a world of good for you, and yeah. now you're doing a world of a wheelie good job <laughs> for others, yeah. you know, as a result of all this. And you know, Diana, I talk about my bike as my carbon fiber therapist mm -hmm. because, you know, I can have a really tough day, and I get on my bike and go for a ride, and I get back. I'm a happy camper again. So it, it keeps you happy and healthy, mentally healthy, physically healthy. That's what we want to do for kids. Mm -hmm. we, we think we can help make a healthier generation. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to have you give that information one more time, how you can help donate or get a bike. Just go to fb4k.org. Uh, and there will be a map on there that'll show you where all the locations are. But any, basically any Alina hospital or clinic in the metro area and some of the outstate areas too, but those will be listed on our website between 9 a.m., 1 p.m., Saturday, October 5th. Um, we take any bike. Congratulations. Good work. We're going to have some fun.